here is another question from alkanes chapter this question is related to kolb's electrolysis and the question says identify the possible products of the following reaction and here potassium salt of carboxylic acid is given and of course there already there is one uh, chiral center and its stereochemistry is fixed it is subjected to electrolysis and uh, here four options are given whether these products are possible during Kolb's electrolysis of this particular reactant, whether these products are possible or not, they are asking. And after observing the options, after observing the four options, if, if you see, there is no ester product. So, in the options, there is no ester product. Therefore, while writing the coupling products, uh, need not to take ester products. You have alkane and alkene, that means disproportionation products are given and uh, number of carbon atoms increasing. So, coupling products, coupling of alkyl radicals we have to take. And uh, first, the given salt will undergo ionization. Due to ionization, you will be getting carboxylate radical that will undergo oxidation at anode. Due to oxidation, that anion is converted to radical carboxylate radical here it is deuterium hydrogen and ch3 so next uh, it undergoes homolytic cleavage due to homolytic cleavage here co2 gas will be released and uh, the remaining species this will be converted to alkyl radical if you see this will have only three groups deuterium methyl and hydrogen and obviously that will be sp2 hybridized and here one is hydrogen deuterium and methyl group and there is one odd electron sp2 hybridization so now it has lost its chirality now this is not chiral now the compounds two groups of this category will undergo coupling and due to coupling here let me write a ch3 CHD, it has one odd electron and another species of a same category like this. So, it will undergo coupling. When it is undergo, when it is undergoing coupling, you can see two chiral centers are produced simultaneously. Two chiral centers are produced as a result, totally three stereoisomers are possible. CH3, CH3 deuterium deuterium hydrogen hydrogen and this is a meso structure meso isomer next possibility deuteriums are opposite side like this in fisher projection formula this is active form and uh, one more possibility is like this so here this is hydrogen deuterium deuterium hydrogen ch3 so, this is also active. So, totally three products are possible, but in the options, they have given deuterium, I mean meso compound and uh, one active isomer. So, these two are definitely possible. Next, uh, he gave in A and B options, alkene and alkene are given. These are produced due to disproportionation. So, this is the first radical I am taking. CH3, CHD, the same radical. One possibility is a coupling reaction. One possibility is a coupling reaction. And another one is a disproportionation reaction. CH3, CHD, like this. Now, this will undergo homolytic cleavage. As a result, you will get a hydrogen radical. That hydrogen radical will attack this. Hence, you are going to get CH3, CH2D. This is obtained from this and uh, the remaining species of the first one due to internal coupling that will give you CH2 double bond CHD. So, like this alkane and alkene, deuterated alkane and deuterated alkene are also possible. So, A and B are also possible. So, finally, the answer is A, B, C, D. All these products are possible.